Hey, hey, guys, this is OK, OK. I'm back again, inking a page from Winnie Wonka Chocolate Fetish Factory, Chapter 2 and Issue 2. Uh, this uh, issue is about a week behind, unfortunately, because uh, I got sick. My daughter, who goes to preschool, uh, definitely got sick from someone on her first day of school, brought it back, and our whole family got sick. <laughs> That's fun stuff, right? And uh, yeah. Um, so I'm back to being about a week behind on this. Um, originally, I thought this could get done by, what was it, September uh, 1st or 2nd. And now um, I'm going to be doing good to get it out on the 11th because I also have a like a dental implant I'm going to be having done on the 5th. I had this baby tooth, and I had this baby tooth that had no adult tooth come in. So life just uh, gave me a bad deal, and I got a missing tooth. Like it's like right there in front of my in my front teeth. So uh, it looks pretty awful. <laughs> I'm glad I can get that implant. All right. Um, because this is an inking video, I want to take a second to uh, kind of stress this uh, inking brush video that I found on YouTube. Um, if you Google or if you YouTube search. Uh, how to make an ink brush on Photoshop. Uh, there's a really helpful video and he basically kind of shows you how to make this brush right here. This uh, 15 brush size that I'm using and it basically gives you kind of like this calligraphy pen. Uh, usually they're called like a, a zebra felt pen um, and this is really what this pen ends up looking like. It's very uh, very easily manipulated to give you a uh, like a thick line and then you can ease up on the pressure and get a thin line again uh, it's a very good brush for inking and here I've been using this you know default circle brush and you can get a variation in your line width but not as easily or you don't get as interesting lines as you would with something like this where uh, you can go from very thick to very thin. Um, you also get a little bit of a, an angle in there. So you can you know play with play around with the angle too. Um, very interesting brush set right there. So um, if you are interested in inking, if you like finding new brushes, this is one that you create your own. It's a little good uh, it's a good little tutorial on how to play around with making your own brushes. So uh, that being said, I'm going to do a little bit of inking here. Uh, you can see I've got started. Um, I was recording a video earlier and uh, got interrupted by a few things. So I've kind of got some work done. But um, yeah, this is Windy Wonka and the Chocolate Fetish Factory. It's chapter two, issue two. And um, the pre-order is out now. Um, the full release again should be done you know probably by September 11th 2018 so uh, look for it soon but I'm sorry that uh, you know I'm the only artist working on uh, the you know the comic pages so if uh, I'm out sick the comic pages just don't get done and uh, get behind <laughs> so um, here you can see this this girl is kind of in the process of uh, turning into a cow. Uh, there's cow transformations in this story. Um, and also, there's this audiobook series that we're doing that's called Willy Wonka's uh, New Tour. And it's an audiobook series that's also written by uh, B Ridge, who's a co writer on this comic series I'm doing, Wendy Wonka. And um, it's being uh, voiced by BJ Bambi. So uh, that, I've got to do a cover for that tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna do another video where I just kind of uh, show you as I work on the cover and give you uh, samples from the audiobook. Uh, this chapter three is what uh, is coming out next and it's a really good chapter. It's my favorite so far and it has a very unusual mixture of a strawberry transformation and a cow transformation. So it's pretty strange and wacky, but I th that's okay because it makes it even better for me. It's just, 
it's really weird and um, it just works. It's fun. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for Willy Wonka's new tour, Chapter Three, the audiobook series. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, you know a cover for that real soon. Um, maybe tomorrow. I hope I can get a video out for it by Saturday. <clears throat> And that's probably when the uh, audiobook will be available, Saturday the 1st. Yeah. So um, the other thing is, uh, this past weekend, I, because of my sickness, I was barely able to do this. <laughs> I got sick and then uh, really bad timing, but uh, I went and did this uh, business trip that I had mentioned before where I got to go to uh, like Walmart's headquarters, global headquarters, and I did a like a six foot mural on duct tape. And um, it was just this really amazing experience. Um, I have been painting for like 15 years maybe, and this was the most inspirational and just um, most uh, <laughs> coolest experience that I've been able to be a part of. And, um, yeah, uh, that's all I got really to say about that. But, um, I did this mural on duct tape and it was a, a big painting process of painting. So, um, the other thing I wanted to say was, uh, recently for that trip, I got these new headphones called the Skull Candy Crusher headphones. And if you are ever in the market for some nice like Bluetooth headphones, I strongly recommend these uh, Crusher headphones from Skull Candy. Um, we go to Target a lot um, just to kind of, you know, let the kids play with toys in the aisles and then don't buy the toys. Uh, just kind of a nice little getaway for them and um, get away out of the house kind of stuff cause, so they don't drive us crazy. But uh, we go to Target and, you know, we just, we're in the, the headphone aisle. The kids love trying on headphones and <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, it's, they enjoy it. So we did that. And um, I like bass in my music. Um, I think, you know, I would prefer these earmuff headphones over, uh, you know, like earbuds. Um, because they just offer such more of a range in your sound. And I put these Crusher headphones on and was amazed at the bass in these things. Um, you have to try these out next time you're at like Target or Best Buy. They, they have a knob on the headphone set itself for the bass. You can turn the bass all the way up and just like blow your mind <laughs> or you can uh, turn it down to like halfway and make it listenable. It's crazy how much bass these things put out. It's like it vibrates your head <laughs> and it's amazing. I love it. Um, on this trip, I was, I flew out there. So, um, I was in coach, you know, uh, gets kind of loud back there. So I was able to turn it up to about halfway range with the bass and, you know, be able to listen to it. But it's just, it's so amazing. I've never heard headphones with bass like this. Like the Bose is awesome for the, like the no noise cancellation, but these headphones are the ultimate bass headphones. <laughs> so if you like bass in your music, you got to check these out. They're, they're so good. And I would rather, you know, pay a little extra money um, for this like one time purchase for a good bass. And <clears throat> I'm just noticing that my voice is a little heavy on the bass right now because of my, uh, I'm getting over this cold still. But um, yeah, so uh, real quick, while I'm inking, I just thought I would uh, give you a little bit of su suggestions. Um, this brush I'm using, I, I love how it gives a nice variety of line weights. Uh, it's just achieved by using this Wacom Cintiq uh, where I actually draw on the computer screen and it's got a very sensitive, uh, I guess, I guess it's, I don't know how to describe that. It's got a high sensitivity. You press down very lightly on the pen and you can get these really fine lines. Basically, you're just trying to replicate 
uh, the kind of um, range you would get in real life. You're trying to, uh, you know, replicate real life on the computer. And it's pretty amazing that you can do that. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get a nice, uh, like, range of, hard, of <laughs> thick and thin lines. Um, I'm getting a lot better range than I would if I used this, uh, like, circle brush right here. I'll show you. I'll just use this circle brush for a second. And you see the line width just isn't there. The nice thing, though, is it's a nice, like, blurred brush almost. I'm getting some really harsh uh, pixelation on some of the edges of these brushes. Um, if I zoom in, you, well, it kind of takes away, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about right around here. There's a little bit of a pixelation, and and um, I need to I need to go into the brush settings and kind of play around with it until I can get rid of that. But just a really good brush and again that's just if you YouTube search uh, how to make an ink brush with Photoshop uh, you'll run into that tutorial I also uh, did a journal recently on um, this new brush and kind of talked about how amazing it was and <laughs> gave a link to the video um, the other thing the last thing I wanted to mention today was a quick little thing for Tales from Crib Keeper 8. Uh, I'm getting close to the end of this comic, so I'm already starting to uh, prepare for the next comic, which will be Tales 8. And uh, we had our contest. We've got the winners chosen from that. Um, I wrote a journal recently uh, declaring the winners and the ideas that we're going to go with. And I said that, you know, we might even have room for a third contest idea and after writing up the page uh, like a draft of each script uh, to get a page count and not overcommit, uh, I discovered that the two stories I've chosen are going to be nine pages each which doesn't allow me to use a third story unfortunately so there's gonna be two stories in Tales 8 it's gonna be Mom's a Thong and Drunken Daycare uh, I going to try something a little bit different with uh, this issue and I'm going to try to kind of uh, use a theme of we're going to let's see we're going to try to use like a moral impose a, um, a moral conflict in the first line of each story what is the moral conflict contained within this story and the one I'm really excited about is what would you do to avoid your reckoning? Like suppose you've committed a crime um, and the police have found you and uh, they're like outside your door waiting to get you and to take you to prison or to court and then you go to prison. But anyways, you are you know, it's judgment day. What would you do to escape your judgment? That is the story I'm excited about because of the relevancy of that, um, <clears throat> you know, topic right now. You know, if you kind of uh, look in the news, uh, it's impossible to look at the news and not see uh, Trump in a headline. Well, um, right now, as it is, you know, I don't know how it's going to be in the future, but <laughs> right now, it seems like. Um, maybe Trump's world is kind of closing in on him. Uh, a lot of people around him are getting, um, you know, sentenced and uh, they're being found guilty of, uh, of crimes and stuff. So it feels like, uh, you know, Trump is almost like he's backed into a corner and it's time to see what he's going to do to, you know, stay out of jail or that kind of thing or, um, you know, stay in out of what is he going to do to not be, not get in trouble, that kind of thing. So um, that's how it's really relevant, and that's why it's kind of exciting to me, is uh, it's uh, relevant to the common day, and this kind of idea carries, it's very universal, and I'm excited to explore it. 
Um, and again, that's going to be called Mom's a Thong and uh, Drunken Daycare. All right. Well, um, that was an interesting line right there. <laughs> Thank you for watching me ink this uh, in this video. Um, for staying to the end of the video, I'll give you a quick little look of what's going on over here. Uh, we've got some interesting uh, cow transformation going on. And... Um, this glass breaking over here. I'm gonna have a nice little sound effect. I think I'm gonna try to letter these sound effects right here, the swoosh. Uh, you can see some nice penciling work over here, these eyes that I didn't go with, so I you know, just throw them over to the side for fun. Um, thank you for watching. If you're ready for uh, the next video, which is gonna be a video doing the cover of Wendy Willy Wonka's new tour, the audiobook series, chapter three. Uh, involving a strawberry transformation and a cow transformation on the same girl. If you're ready for that video, stay subscribed and look you know, in the next couple days because that is coming. Um, thanks for watching. Please support the channel with by hitting like or subscribe. And I am okay, 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 okay on DeviantArt. So hop on over there and say hey to me there too. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And I will see you next time.